What's up, No Money Spent Squad? Um, <laughs> we gotta talk about this, man. I'm gonna break this down. I'm also gonna grind some of it out, but we need to talk. The April Player of the Month officially, fully released this week. I was at a Cinco de Mayo wedding, so I wasn't on my console or working the day that this dropped. So we're gonna discuss it now. We've been waiting to see who the Lightning Player of the Month card was gonna be. It's Anthony Rizzo for his nine home runs and 21 RBIs in the month of April. He's got 100, 102 power, 81, 86 contact, uh, with the 77 fielding, 84 reaction, no secondary positions. This is a primary and only first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. I will say, this is a good card. Other than Frank Thomas, this is probably the best first baseman in the game. Now, if you consider quirks and inside edge, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is better than this card. So, maybe third best first baseman in the in the game. You also got the Giambis and the Ryan Howards and the Prince Fielders. So there's a lot of options at first base. So I was expecting the community to react negatively to a primary and only first, only first baseman, no secondary type of card as the feature reward. I knew there was gonna be a negative feedback on this. Personally though, I don't really care. It's April. The lightning player for the April player of the month is gonna end up washed out by July anyway. It's just how it is. This card's gonna be very good right now and those of you that can't afford Vladdy, and obviously those of you that can't afford Vladdy don't have Frank Thomas, so this is a good option for you. The problem with this is that even if you grinded out the one two and week three moments to get yourself some progress on this program before the final drop, it is going to take you no less than four hours to complete this grind. Now, I will say, Diamond Dynasty continues to do the best job when it comes to no money spent. You're going to get some really, really good cards grinding through this. I mean, not just the feature diamond. You're going to get some other solid cards. Granted, these 86 overall diamonds, for the most part, aren't going to cut it for you. Once you get deeper in here, you're going to get choice packs for 88 overalls. I mean, this pack looks insane. Jock Peterson's really good. Jordan Romano is throwing Ched. You got JP Crawford has really high contact, insane defense. There are some really, pa Pablo Lopez, who could have been the lightning player with a 0 0.39 ERA in April, five pitch mix sinker cutter. He could have been the lightning card. That's a good card right there. Owen Miller, meh. Good secondary positions though. And then as you go through, there's a 90 overall pack, which is gonna have Ty France in it. The 90 overall Taylor Ward, and this card has Catcher as a secondary, which is really interesting, and Kyle Wright. And then once you've gotten those, you're going to keep on grinding, and eventually you're going to get these two. Now, how do you get through this grind? How do you grind this out? Simple. Just like the first three weeks worth of moments, you have more moments to do. You're going to go down here to Tops Now, week four moments. You're going to grind these out. Once you're completely done, you're going to have enough cards to go into the Tops Now collection. You'll be able to lock these in. Once you've done that, you just have to sit here and continue playing with the Tops Now cards over and over and over and over and over again. And I mean over and over and over again. You get 10 points for every 2,000 XP with this team. The moments are going to unlock these three diamonds, and then when you do the collection, it's going to shoot you to these 88 overall packs. You then take those cards, put them on a team, and start grinding with the players for XP. And you have to repeat that process for hours. <laughs> Now, as someone who has been playing Diamond Dynasty for six years now, I've been on YouTube for five. This feels so much like MLB 18, man. Like, uh, other than Jersey, if you were around, you know what I'm talking about. MLB 18, we had that immortal grind where it was nothing but XP grinds and exchanges. Thankfully, there are no exchanges attached to this program. So we don't have that problem. But this does just feel like a really lengthy grind. I don't know if I love it. It's just a lot. I'm trying to put my mind and like put my brain in the casual player's thought process. Let's say, for example, you're just getting the game. You got like two hours worth of moments you got to do before you even get to this most recent grind. And then you have another four plus hours worth of grinding to do to get to the lightning card. So if we're being brutally honest here, from the very beginning at zero points, this is going to take you roughly six hours, probably more, especially if you're not a good player. It's what I call mind numbing grinding. I'm totally okay with long grinds, extended grinds, but give us various things to do. Like the feature program, for example, we get showdowns, we get conquests, we can get points in other modes we can do collections they give us a ton of things to do this grind where we're just doing the one same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again 
is the most boring type of CPU grind. I don't think that's even debatable. Now you could argue you can get this PXP in any of the various Diamond Dynasty modes. You can play offline, you can play online, but let's be honest here. The most efficient way to do this is against the computer on rookie for people who you know their their goal is to just get the you know the fun that they have in this mode is to play with the feature card not the grind itself they just want to get the code that six hour mind numbing grind may turn them completely off of the game and while i totally understand that not everything in this game needs to be grinded out that's one of the beauties of this mode you don't have to do everything i noted at the beginning of the video anthony rizzo not even the best first baseman in this game he's not even the best he's not even the second best first baseman in the game if you can afford vlad so you don't have to do this and you're going to get a decent amount of packs when you grind through. I think this is a very shallow amount of packs. I mean, 15 packs. You get one diamond per 50 standards on average, so technically you got to unlock those 15 packs three times for every one diamond pull. Odds are 99% of the community are getting zero diamonds out of the free packs they get from this, because there really just isn't that many. They're giving us a ton of Player of the Month content and some really good Player of the Month cards, but if we're also being honest... Most of these cards aren't going to be good in a couple weeks as more content comes out and the accessory stuff. It, just, it really feels like they pulled back on packs last year from last year. Part of me thinks that that's because they gave so many free packs into the game that that resulted in less in-app purchases. It pains me to think this may be financially motivated, especially since I know the devs and that isn't something that they would do. If that's what's going on here, that is a Sony overlord decision that's being made. The S I know for a fact the SES devs wouldn't go from last year's grind to this year's grind because of money. If that's what's going on, it's the overlords that made that decision. I really hope that's not the case, but it it feels like they just took free packs almost completely out of the game, man. Like last year you could you could do a grind like this for two hours, three hours. And what really made it feel worth it was you get all the players that you're grinding for, but then you also unlocked 20 standard packs, 20 affinity packs, balling as a habits and, and headliners. It just seems like they're throwing us a few headliners and a 10 bundle here and there to keep us happy, but it's not really getting it done. The reason the marketplace is so inflated this year compared to last year is because people aren't pulling as many diamonds. People aren't pulling as many diamonds because we're getting way less packs. So from there, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below on this program. It's a good program. I just it it feels it feels like it's got too much of that mind numbing grind attached to it for not enough return i mean just look i mean they they don't even give us xp progress for the feature program i, I assumed we were going to get feature program at like bonus xp as we got some of this done to help out with the feature program that's not in here so without further ado let's start grinding out these moments first moment two extra base hits with willie adamas for two points let's go start. Uh-oh. I jumped off the bat. And he's off the top of the wall. We're done. Anthony Rizzo got to hit a dinger. Let's do it. Is that got enough? Is he got enough? I did power swings. He got enough. It's off the very top of the wall. We're going to be here all day. Maybe? Yes, Riz! I didn't think that was gonna go. Moving on! Four total bases on Rookie! We can get this done on one swing! Bombs! Yo, that was a sick swing! I gotta try this card out! Oh my goodness, that jump! Three innings with Taylor Meagle! Let's go! He threw that combined no-no, and I don't wanna do this moment right now! One down to the third, we're two out from being done here. DD steps in. Didi flies out to center. Oh no. <gasps> now we're back to the Didi Gregorius at bat for take two. I'm honestly going to be upset if he gets another corny one. All right, he's, this is it. Didi Gregorius is the goon at bat in this moment. Oh, he's, he's taking tough pitches, checking his swing. Oh! I can't let anyone on base, can I? Uh, just don't give up a hit. I technically can walk someone, huh? Dot. It's 3 2. Get there! Huh. Thank you, Pete! That's not the guy I want being at the ball being hit to right now. Ha! All right, we're done that one. Take two takes! Two takes! That unlocks Travis Demerit, 86 overall. Now, the next moment, we got to strike out four batters with Kershaw. Done! Finally! Moving on, we got one more moment, and then we move on to the XP grind. That unlocks Taylor. Oh, boy, boy, time. Let's go. Hey, Rods. First big league homer. We need four total bases on Rook. 
and then as soon as I do, it's a semi-painted front door slider chest high. Oh, it went out! How on earth did that go out? What is going on? Hey, and we're done! That's Willie Adama's Diamond Unlock. Gives us the three new diamonds from finishing those moments. I can now take those three diamonds. I can lock them into the Topps Now collection, and bang! That unlocks a pack. Gets us some progress, a lot of progress done, might I add. Like I said, once you do the moments and that collection, it's gonna shoot you to 65 points. Gonna unlock stage two, and in stage two, you have more moments that you can complete here. A whole heck of a lot of them, might I add. So let's just go ahead and get to it. Get on base two times with JP Croft. Yahtzee! Oh, J.P. Crawford, nice little no-doubter here, lefty-lefty. I like that animation. Done! Two hits, and we're moving on! Four total bases with Jock Peterson. This should be easy. Yahtzee, the first swing. Perfect, perfect. Watch, it's gonna hit the top of the wall. Oh, we got out. Let's go! One and done. That gets us our first 88 overall choice pack. Next moment, pitch three innings with Pablo Lopez. I cannot believe that just ended like that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, next up, strike out two batters with Victor Arano. Come on, man. About to throw our seventh pitch to Joey Wendell. It's 1-2. He's fouled off five pitches this at-bat. And we're done! Gives us a pack post-game there on that one. And now we are four moments deep. Next one is to win the game. Pitch one in and give up nothing with Jordan Romano. Gase! Three up, three down for Jordan. I'm very excited to try that card out online. And that unlocks another 88 overall monthly awards pack. So now we have two of those 88 overall cards to start our XP grind. The next moment is just get an extra base hit with Owen Miller. Perfect, perfect. That should get it done. Easy double for Owen Miller. We are done. Next moment, we got to get an extra base hit with Taylor Ward. Yeah, I'm very excited about trying this card out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Next moment, we need to hit a home run with Ty France. Almost done these moments, baby. Ty France. If that don't go, I feel like we're going to be here forever. See ya. Yeah, it only took two attempts. And next up, I think we only have three more. We got six strikeouts, four total bases, and a home run. Let's do the six strikeouts now. Just get it over with. All right, that one, I'm going to be honest, was not fun. Moving on, we got two more hit moments. Four total bases with Dawson. Bye! Perfect, perfect. We just got a homer with Anthony Rizzo and we're done. 88 overall monthly awards pack. And now, last but not least, one home run with Anthony Rizzo once again. And we'll move on to stage three. Yahtzee! It took our final at bat, lefty lefty, to get it done, but we're done! And just like that, all of the moments in stage two are completed. We now have monthly award missions that we need to complete 500 XP for each individual player. There's bulk grinds you can do for the pitchers and the hitters. And once again, you're gonna have to do a required collection in order to get some extra points in here. So, first and foremost, let's open up those three free packs that we got. We'll do JP Crawford. Second pack, we'll take Jock. Peterson, and then we'll do Jordan Romano. That gives us three of those 88s. So if you go down here into those collections now, we only have three out of the five you need to do this. This is why it's important that you do not buy those cards off the marketplace. Remember, if you buy the cards off the marketplace and lock them into this collection, when you get to the end of this program and you get those free no-sell packs, you will have two versions of each card non-sellable. Do not buy the cards to get a speed boost on that collection. It is a trap. And you also have the optional collection where you can put in nine cards once you get all of the 88 to 90 overalls, and that's going to give you a bonus uh, 15 points. And now that we've completed all of the moments and we have a couple, a handful of these diamonds unlocked, we officially have to start the PXP grind. I cannot move on to stage three. We are at 98 points at the start of the PXP grind. I've been recording this for an hour and 20 minutes, had about an hour and 45 minutes 
worth of moments completed going into this update because week one, two, and three had already come out. So we're already looking at roughly three hours worth of grinding here, and we're under 100 points, have only unlocked a couple of packs, and we do have some decent diamonds unlocked, though I will say the cards in this program are very good, but they will get old fast. That's the problem. I don't know, no, man. I'm gonna do the PXP grind off screen. I'm obviously not gonna sit here and play against the computer on Rookie for you guys. That would be incredibly boring. And I'm aware that you don't have to do it that way, that mind-numbing grind that I like to complain about. I know you don't have to do it that way. I always get that response on Twitter. There's always someone saying, well, you shouldn't play the game that way. You should appreciate the grind and just enjoy it for what it is. That's what the game is. The game don't have to be like that. It wasn't like that last year, and it's progressively gone away from that type of grind since MLB 18 when we had it real bad with Immortals. So I disagree with you that that's just how the game is. I disagree that we should just deal with it. I'm the type of guy, I do enjoy the grind. I genuinely enjoy the grind. I enjoyed every grind in MLB The Show 21. I just think there's certain ways that you should shape things to make sure that it is fun. This particular grind is not fun. Fun. Look, if I wanted to take these player of the month cards and play online against someone else, which is where I have my most fun, I enjoy playing online against other people and being competitive and my, making, you know, thinking about what are they thinking, you know, playing chess online, you know, that chess match, that mental chess match that exists in real life baseball exists in online play when we're playing this game. That's my favorite part about Diamond Dynasty. I love unlocking these cards, putting unique lineups together, and then taking those teams online and testing myself against other people. That's how I enjoy Diamond Dynasty. So it's hard for me to be positive about a six hour CPU grind, man. I just don't like it. I'm okay with it being there, but I don't think we're getting enough. Maybe that's because we got spoiled last year and I know that we're still in a, you know, MLB The Show, No Money Spent is still in a great spot compared to other sports games. I know that we're, you know, they still, it, with it how it is, it's still very good for No Money Spent compared to other games. But when you go backwards, it's never gonna look good. And if we're being brutally honest right now, MLB 22, we are grinding longer for less than last year. And that's just not gonna get a good reaction.